Hello everyone, welcome back to Pably Connect. In today's video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp message for Thinkific quiz submission. So now we know that Thinkific is a platform where you create online courses. So now you want whenever a quiz is completed by a user for a specific course, then automatically you want to send a personalized WhatsApp message to that particular user. So how we will set up this integration and automation? Here we will be using Pably Connect, where our trigger application will be. Thinkific and our action application will be interact. So to learn how we set up this automation, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp message for Thinkific quiz submission. So here you want that every time when a quiz is completed by a user for the particular course in Thinkific, then you want to send a personalized WhatsApp message to that particular user. So to integrate and automate this entire process, let us sign into our Pably Connect account. And if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will click on sign in. So now we have reached on the all applications page where we will be using Pably Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So now we have arrived on our dashboard and these are some existing workflows that were created before. But to create a new workflow, you have to click on this create workflow button on the right hand side. So over here, you can see in this dialog box, we need to give a name to a workflow, which I have named it as send WhatsApp message for Thinkific quiz submission. Now I will click on create. So now these are the two most important events. One is trigger and the another one is action. So trigger and action are the two most important principles of Pably Connect to perform any automation and integration. So over here, the trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So basically action is the response of your trigger application. So over here, moving to the trigger window, as a title suggests, that is to send WhatsApp message for Thinkific quiz submission. So as my trigger application, I will be using Thinkific and I will search over here. So here it is. Let us click on that. Now, after selecting my trigger application, I need to select a trigger event. So my trigger event will be quiz completed. That means it will trigger when a student answers the final question of a quiz. So I'm selecting it. So now here you can see a webhook URL is given to us and this is a help desk given. So read it carefully that how we will be connecting Thinkific with Pably Connect. So over here, this webhook URL will be acting as a bridge for us to connect Thinkific and Pably Connect. So now let me take you to my Thinkific account. So now over here to connect Thinkific with Pably Connect, we need to go to settings and after settings, we need to go to code and analytics. Over here, you can see the option of webhooks is given. So we will click on that and we will click on webhooks again. So these are some existing webhooks, but to create a new webhook, you can click on this new webhook button. And now over here, we need to paste the webhook URL that was given to us in Pably Connect. So let me copy it from here and now I will be pasting it. So now in the model section, that will be quiz and the quiz topic will be that the quiz is attempted. So now I will click on save. So you can see our webhook is created successfully. Now what we need to do is we will go back to Pably Connect and over here you can see it is waiting for a webhook response. That means we need to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded over here in Pably Connect as a response. So now moving back to Thinkific again. Over here, we will go to manage learning products and then we will click on courses. So these are some existing courses that I have created before. And over here, I will be using this core PHP programming course. So now what I will do is I will be copying this part of the URL and I will be opening this in a cognito window. So I've copied it and moving to the incognito window. I will paste it over here and click on that. So over here, you can see this page has opened and this is my course appearing over here by the name of PHP course for beginners. I will click on that and now I will enroll for free. So now you can see I have filled in the details. First name goes as demo, last name as enroll and the email is desk at the redpaplitudes.com. I have created a password and added the phone number. Now I will click on sign up to enroll. So now you can see I have enrolled successfully for this course and now I will go to assignment. So I need to answer this assignment that is our quiz. So over here, what is PHP and the answer is it is hypertext preprocessor. So I will click on that and now I will click on confirm. So now you can see that the answer was correct and now I will click on next. This means that I have completed the quiz. 
So over here, what I will do is I will take you back to my Pabli Connect account again. So over here, you can see the resource. You can see the user last name, user ID, the first name, the email ID and the quiz name along with some other details and the action is attempted. So now I have got the response over here. But if you would have noticed over here, the details of the student is missing in all the details that we have received. So how will I get that? So now here in my action application, I will be using Thinkific. Let me search for it. And now the action events will be to get user. That means it will retrieve the user by the provided ID that was created in the response. So now what I will do is I will click on get user and now I will be clicking on connect. So if you have an existing connection, you can go with that or you can simply add a new connection. So as I've already used Thinkific over here in my trigger application, so I will go with the existing connection. I don't have to add a new connection again, clicking on save. So now you can see it is connected. So now moving to the user ID. So now in the drop down, you can see these are some existing users that are given over here. So now it says that enter the user ID or map the user to retrieve the user data. So that means over here we need to enter or map the user whose data we want to fetch. So if I will select the user from this drop down, every time when this action event will run, it will only fetch the details of this particular user. So we don't want that. So instead of doing this we will be mapping the id so i will be removing this id from over here and we will map the id from the response that we have received so over here this is the id given to us and i've mapped it so now over here i have mapped this user id but with the help of mapping now whenever a new quiz submission will be done then automatically this user id will be replaced by a new user id so that means the new user details will be fetched so over here as we have mapped this now we will click on the save and send test request button to, to see the response so over here you can see the response we have received you can see the id you can see at what time it was created. You can see the first name, last name, along with the email and the phone number. So now we have got all the details of this user. Now what I want, I want to send this user a WhatsApp message. So how I will do that? I will click on this add action step. And now in my action application, I will be using interact to send this WhatsApp message. So over here, I'm selecting it. And now in the action event, that will be to send WhatsApp template message. So now I need to establish a connection between Interact and Public Connect. I will click on connect. And now if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. But over here, it is asking for a secret key. So read this instruction carefully. For that, let me take you to my Interact account over here. In this developer settings, you can see the secret key is given over here. You will just unhide this and then you will copy and paste it over here. So as I already have an existing connection with Interact, I will go with the same. And now you can see it is connected. So over here, there are some fields like country code, phone number, full phone number and some other details like template code name and language code. So now what I will do is I need to enter these details. So instead of adding these details manually, I will use mapping. So over here, I will map the full number from the response that we have received. Here is the full phone number. And keep in mind, while you mention the full phone number, make sure that the number is mentioned along with the country code. If the country code is not mentioned with the phone number, so you need to mention the country code over here and the phone number separately. So as in our response, we have received it all together. So I've mapped in full phone number field. So now moving to the template code name for that, I need to take you to my Interact account over here. We will go to templates and you can see these are some templates that I've already created before and I will be using this PHP course template. So the template body goes as hi, congratulations on completing your course successfully. Your certificate will be mailed on your mail ID. Thank you. So now over here, this is my template name. So I will just copy it, go back to Public Connect and over here, I will paste it. And now moving to the language code, that was English. So I am writing it over here as EN. Make sure that you also mention the language code correctly. Now, if you have mentioned any header value, you can map the same. 
and now moving to the body variable value so now what are body variable values so read it over here that you need to enter the values of variables in your templates body if the template body goes like this so now that means in our template you can see there are these two variables that we have mentioned over here so now we need to mention those variables over there so I will go back to Pabli Connect and in the body variables I will map it from the response that we have received so I will map the full name that is demo enroll and then I will separate it with the comma and I will be mapping the mail id that is desk at the rate .com. so that means our variables are mapped successfully so now these values will change accordingly as per whenever a new quiz submission will be done because these are the variable values so now I will click on the save and send test request button to see the response and the whatsapp message so now you can see you have received the response so over here in whatsapp I have received the message as hi demo enroll congratulations on completing your course successfully your certificate will be mailed on your mail id and the mail id is desk at the rate and it goes by thank you so now you can see that the message is successfully received in WhatsApp. So this process of sending a WhatsApp message for Thinkific quiz submission was successfully integrated and automated. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.